the Dhammapada, verse 120. By its effects, good is known. Bhadropi pasati papam yava bhadrangna pachati yada cha pachati bhadrang atha bhadro bhadrani pasati. Even a good person may still meet with suffering, so long as his good deed does not bear fruit. But when it does bear fruit, he will reap the benefits of his good deed. Anatta Pindika and the Guardian Spirit Anatta Pindika was the donor of the Jetavana Monastery. He was not only generous but also truly devoted to the Buddha. He would go to the Jetavana Monastery and pay homage to the Enlightened One three times daily. In the mornings, he would bring along rice gruel, in the daytime some suitable food, and in the evenings some medicine and flowers. After some time, Anathapindika became poor, but because of his confidence in the Dhamma, he was not shaken by poverty, and continued to do his daily acts of charity. One night, a guardian spirit residing in his house, appeared before him in person and said, I am the guardian spirit. You have been offering your property to the Buddha with no thought for your future. That is why you are a poor man today. Therefore, you should make no more offering to him and should look after your own business affairs and get rich again. Another Pindika requested the guardian spirit to leave his house for saying such things. And as he was highly developed spiritually, the guardian spirit could not disobey him, and so had to leave the premises. He had nowhere to go and wanted to return but was afraid of Anatta Pindika. So he approached Sakka, king of the Devas. Sakka advised him first to do a good turn to Anatta Pindika, and after that to ask for his pardon. Then Sakka continued, There are debts taken as loans by some traders which are not yet repaid to Anatta Pindika, certain valuables buried by the ancestors of Anatta Pindika, which have been washed away into the ocean, some treasures which belong to no one, buried in a certain place. Go and recover all this wealth and fill up the rooms of Anathapindika. The guardian spirit did as instructed by Sakka, and Anathapindika again became rich. When the guardian spirit told Anathapindika what he had done for him, permission was granted for the spirit to reside in his house. Then, Anatta Pindika took him to the Buddha. To both of them the Buddha said, One may not enjoy the benefits of a good deed or suffer the consequences of a bad deed for a long time. But the time will surely come when good or bad deeds will bear fruit and ripen. <laughs>